It was the only time I thought, God, I wish I had a husband. I couldn't, I couldn't unzip my dress. I was looking at your Instagram, and I'm so happy you're on Instagram. Or is it your Instagram? I, I tweet, I Instagram, I yeah. Facebook, I do it all. There is one uh, post on your Instagram which made me laugh so much, and I'm like, you are I Bet so I know which one. <laughs> yes. When I had to sleep in the evening dress? Yes. Is that true? Yes. It was the only time I thought, God, I wish I had a husband. I couldn't, I couldn't unzip my dress. It was this long, heavy sequin dress, so I had to sleep in it. So I thought, well, I'll post a picture of, I looked so beautiful at the gala, and then the next morning in my beaded dress in the kitchen, and I thought I'll post them both. People like that I don't mind showing myself when I'm not at all attractive. Yeah, because that's kind of like a newer thing, I feel like, the last 10, 15 years with social media, that people, you know, show different sides of them that are vulnerable, and they're not like always, they don't wake Perfect. up like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've always been that way. Uh, you know, but now we have social media, so you can be that way to more people. Yeah. What do you? Uh, I don't know how to exactly ask it, but the way you feel about love and what love is to you now is it changed from when earlier in life? You think? Oh yeah. Um, you know, when you're young, you tend, or at least people like me, you tend to gravitate to the ones that are charismatic and and brilliant and exciting and. And uh, as I've gotten older, you know, like my most recent boyfriend, one day I just realized he's kind. Why didn't anyone tell me when I was young to also look for kindness? <gasps> That's true. So I guess I realize how important it is to feel that someone cherishes you. You know, that they don't just like you because of the way you look or because you're famous or because you can support them or whatever, but they just cherish you. Mary Steenburgen is married to a man who cherishes her, Ted Danson. And you can see that in everything about Mary. She's cherished. It's just wonderful. It makes me so happy for her. <laughs> so you kind of had this sex symbol your whole life. Uh, I remember I asked Robert Redford about that once, what he felt about that. And he's like, sometimes I felt it kind of got in the way because people were more interested in what I look like than what I, who I was as an actor. Did you ever feel like that? I never felt like a sex symbol. If, if it was other people maybe putting that label on me at various times, not at all, all the time, because I've gone through periods where I have been anything but sexy. Um, uh, I never really cared about having that image. It wasn't something that I worked for. I was married to a man, my first husband, Roger Vadim, Fringer, who made Barbarella with me. And, you know, he kind of created that image. But that was his creation. <laughs> so I never really took it too seriously. What, what is a sexy man to you? How would you describe a man if he's sexy? What, what does he look like? Or what is his qualities? A man is not sexy to me unless I feel he can take me to a place that I've never been, teach me things that I don't know, open up a new world to me of some sort, um, which means that I've never really gone for younger men. I, I, I had a boyfriend once who, uh, he was almost 20 years younger than me. He had a non-speaking role in a soap opera. and <laughs> I couldn't learn anything from him. So I like, I like, I like men who, um, I guess they're called alpha males. You know, they're very uh, out there and uh, because they challenge me. You know, I, I loved being married to Ted Turner. I love him still so much. We're very, very close because he's, he's a genius. I mean, he's brilliant. And oh my God, I mean, I learned so much from him. Mostly, not at all what people would think, mostly about nature, about wildlife about the migratory pattern of birds, oh, well. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know, it's just, oh. I just have to say before I go that I watched your aerobic videos this morning on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> you? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, they are so amazing. Do you ever watch those? Or do you ever go online and look at your... I do them. Will you still do them? I, well, see, I made a whole new set called Primetime for older women and men, mostly women. And so I do, I do my own older women versions of, of the workout. 
But the ones you did in the 80s, do you? Oh, I see them because oftentimes they're put up on screens when I'm on a show or something like that. And I look at them and I think, didn't I realize how suggestive that was? I mean, so many of the things are really suggestive and I didn't... And the outfits <laughs> with the very high... <laughs> yes. Race. I bet you didn't know there were 12 of them. All kinds of classes for different levels of fitness. So do you like that you can kind of... Now this enables you to talk to fans and, and people in a different way than, you know, that before the social media. Do you like that you can kind of connect? I with do. Um, did How? you see my the picture from yesterday? No. Yesterday I was in Bakersfield, California, very very poor community, knocking on doors and getting people registered to vote. Oh wow! Yeah, That's it was great. great. So I took a whole bus lo load of women up there. But it was interesting. You know, it was a largely Hispanic community, and I must have knocked on forty doors. Oh, Only one person looked up and said, oh my Dio mio, it's Jane Fonda, Grace and Frankie, and she got all excited. Nobody else had any idea who I was. It really? was great, yeah, it was great. Oh, wow. Just because you, they weren't expecting you to knock on their door, probably, yeah. they're like, and well, you she know, might we, look we like We were talking someone. about jobs and health care and education and things like that, and I don't think they expected me to be there. Oh, wow. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel, so please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice.